Good morning, good morning Ted, good morning Judith, good morning Joseph. This is a quick intro to the video that I have um, put together. Uh, thank you Judith and Ted for sending us your wedding ideas and um, your plans. I really taken those plans and researched them and tried to provide some options for you guys so it might be like a little bit easier for you as far as like knowing where to get things and um, just hopefully to um, help you in making your wedding plans come together so sit back and watch the video I'm sure you'll be laughing through it um, I tried my best I tried to be a help and not a hindrance so hopefully I'm not a hindrance to you guys but um, just sit back and watch thanks bye This is the honey and tea wedding favor that um, I created. I'm sorry, I'm recording this again. I lost it. The bow is not as pretty as it was in the first recording, but it basically is a small jar of honey with a bag of um, Earl Grey tea in a hemp basket. And in the next video clip, I'm going to open it up and show it to you, but I lost this so this is the honey and tea wedding favor um, possibility or idea. Okay, back again. The lace has been removed. This is tool. This is tool that I have. So if you go with this idea, we don't have to actually get tool for this idea for these party favors. This is the jar of honey, uh, and this is. Um, this is Earl Grey tea, which I believe that um, Ted and his family likes, and I thought it was just a cute little thing to tie the the couple together, to tie the families together. And you have your tea with your honey, and this is just cardstock that's placed in the bottom to give it a little bit of support. And this is a basket that is simply crocheted out of um, hemp rope. So this is a, a cute little favor. Hope I hope that you guys like this idea. And if you do, I can get started on doing this. So that's the party favor idea. This is just a sample of the white icicle lights with the tool. I really apologize, I don't have enough tool to really um, do it justice, but this was a very quick um, display. You can have the tool like this, you can bunch the tool up in different sections so that it looks like bowls with the lights running through the tool. You can have draping fabric behind it. I'm, I just don't have that right now, but I just wanted to try this idea so that you get um, an idea of how much the lights give off and the effect that it would have in a room. You just have to really multiply it by a number of times to get this effect along a wall or a backdrop. So I hope this helps in a way. And that's it. This right here is only like a yard of tool. And um, if you cut the tool in half, 
I think it would still do the job um, and you'd get twice the amount of yardage to use for lights. Okay, that's it. Okay, um, you might want to try this idea with the four columns that are in the cafeteria. This is the tool that's wrapped around the column with the white icicle lights wrapped in the tool. And you could also have um, flowers trailing trailing down the column. So this could be a possibility for the four columns that are in the cafeteria. And that's the type of light that they would give off. Okay, I was looking through the book and some nice centerpieces had um, branches with flowers attached to the branches and I thought that that was a really nice idea. Excuse the vase, that's all I have right now. I'm just filming this so you can get an idea. You know, I basically went to the park, found some branches, and um, I made these flowers. Uh, just to see the effect now of course I've only made four flowers that's given the time factor I was trying to get this video together that's all I could make if you could envision <laughs> these branches with um, more flowers on them smaller maybe a couple larger flowers but um, flowers on these branches and um, um, the glass pebbles there are also some other pebbles which um, I will add a description to that um, they're cheaper than the glass pebbles and they look just as nice uh, you can add that um, plus I guess your votive candles on a table or string balls on a table I've added all those types of examples these could be some pretty um, centerpiece ideas now I am stating for the book that these were the colors that I had on hand. Now I know this is really leaning towards um, a, maybe a peachy type of color and not a blush color, but these were the colors that I had on hand when I made these flowers, okay? So um, the color would be different, but I just wanted to um, give you an idea of how these centerpieces um, really could be made. I'm not, you know, maybe you don't want such a tall centerpiece on each table, you know, on one or two tables, and the other ones could have smaller ones, but, you know, these can be made. If you go to the florist and you ask them to um, provide centerpieces for you, they're quite expensive because they're going to provide the vase and real life flowers for you. Um, so this may be something that you want to consider. Okay, and also on this table, this is the wedding favor that 
idea that I came up with. Um, I'm going to try and do this with one hand, but if you can see in here, we have the little jar of jelly. Let's see. I'm going to keep it on the white. We have the little jar of jelly. We have the um, the tea. And it's in a wicker basket. And I do believe that Judy Judith said that she was going to somehow incorporate a sticker with um, Ted and Judith's, Judith's name on it. And um, I'm going to open it in the next shot if I can open it now. I originally had this lace on the jar, tied around the jar, but I think it was overkill, so I took it off. Hold on a minute. Yes, uh, this is really just a, like another branch that I picked up outside. Actually, it was it was quite it was more uh, fuller, and I broke off some of the branches and used them um, in this, but like something like this where you just have like small flowers on the branches and maybe you know a little smaller of course um, but I think it would really create um, a really pretty and stunning um, area of decoration so these are just ideas I'm kind of throwing you away uh, to see if you like them or not Okay, once again, and this is an example of a pew bow, pew, the seats in the church, uh, bow decoration. It's, uh, it's just tulle with a flower, and you have the the flow of the tool, the tool, and you just hook it over the end of the pew with a simple piece of elastic. You can also take these. Another option is that once the ceremony is done, you just take these, you take them to the cafeteria, and you just place them over the chairs. So they can be used for pew bowls, and they can be used for the cafeteria, uh, for the chairs in the reception area, or in the reception area. And last but not least, I took some pictures of this I just these are some fabrics that I got which I hopefully I do believe that they are in the blush family and in the ivory family which are the colors that you told me that um, you think that they're going to be a part of the wedding and basically I would be using these blending these um, to make flowers uh, for the centerpieces if that's the idea that you wanted to go with um, the more colors you have, the, the shadings of color, the more natural the flowers look and the more pretty they, the more prettier they are. If it's just like you know one or two colors, it's, it's, it's just going to be boring. It's just like painting actually. Um, so this is a sampling, which I'm sure I can get even more shades, but of course, you know um, this is just an idea. These are just options that I'm placing before um, you guys to see if they are acceptable. So that's the fabric there. And I did have a, hold on a minute, I'm still not sure of the slate blue color. I don't know if that's it. Um, I don't think that that is it, but, um, and I wouldn't make flowers out of blue, but I just wanted to have an idea of what the, you know, if we could have some um, really specific um, swatches of the colors that uh, both of you want for the wedding. That would be great. Okay, that's it for this part.
uh, very quickly, this is the wall, the mock uh, makeup of the wall of the cafeteria that has the windows. And I just wanted to show, the wall has these um, little lights, I guess they're ambient lights or mood lights that are right there. And I just basically put the string of lights along that row to see the effect of maybe not having the ceiling lights in the cafeteria but just these mood lights or the ambient lights that are situated around the cafeteria. Um, so I just wanted to just record that. I know you really can't see it now because it's dark but uh, there is pink and ivory tool coming out of the windows. I would get a day shot but um, just to kind of get an idea of the effect that it would produce. Okay. This is a model of the cafeteria. Uh, thank you Judith for sending um, me pictures of the pavilion and the cafeteria. <coughs> Excuse me, the I just basically worked on the cafeteria because I do believe they are the same size, a rectang rectangular shape. And basically the idea is that um, that I've given you for the ca cafeteria can be applied to, p to the pavilion also. I think the, the downfalls to the cafeteria were the colors. Uh, based on the pictures that you gave me, I believe the floor was a gray with a like a black or a darker gray border. And I think the, the two sides were a lighter yellow. And the sides with the windows were a very light gray and the opposite side is a very light gray. Um, the the good things that we have going that you can be using in the wedding is the yellow champ champagne type of color if I'm seeing it correctly and <coughs> uh, the columns which you thought were um, really going to be a problem um, very base very quickly I don't know if you can really see it in this display, but um, the columns can be decorated with tool. The tool can be um, applied as draped in bowls, or it can you can wrap the columns with tool, as I mentioned in the video. The video you'll see later on in this video, and if you kind of create like a sort of canopy area. This area can be cautioned off and it can actually become like a stage area where everything plays around this area. I guess you and Ted could have your dance in this area. Any speakers could speak in this area. Um, I had the bridal party by the windows because it was a prettier place with the windows. And the food tables on the opposite side which is just a gray wall. And uh, let's kind of zoom out and tables along this end and this wall has the kitchen area I believe it is and tables along this end which is where you come in and a few circular tables around the columns where maybe you could have family tables I'm not sure um, but there are tables there and um, let's see the if you can kind of I'm trying to just give you like an idea I, I didn't have enough fabric and time to do this whole thing up the way it should be done but um, you can have tool um, draping from the ceiling you can have um, string balls in champagne or the blush color or, or darker pink that can be used in these areas that it can be used in the corners of the the four corners of the room you can have let's see on this side like you can have satin which is a thicker fabric which drapes nicely it's a little bit more expensive than the tool um, but um, it gives a stronger effect um, I used pink in 
in the decoration because I think that is one of your main colors. If I have the wrong color, then you'll have to tell me what's the right color. Um, I was starting to just do do the whole thing in a champagne or an ivory, but it was starting to look too washed out. Um, there wasn't enough color to pick up. So um, if you concentrate on... Um, I didn't do it here because I don't have time, but you can do drapes here. You can do string balloons there. Lanterns. I don't know if you want lanterns. Um, the tables are white here, but if you can envision them in ivory with um, maybe accents of pink, maybe pink napkins. Of course, you're going to have um, centerpieces on certain tables depending on what you decide so it's not just going to be gray and white it would be gray the gray floor um, with the ivory and some pink um, I do uh, speak a little bit about maybe using the school's tables and chairs the chairs I do believe the chairs that I saw in the video were maroon a dark maroon which could kind of blend with your color scheme if you decorated the top of the chairs with a lighter blend of pinks. So um, these are all things that you can think about. Um, I really, you know, when you said the um, the columns were icky, but I really do think that they would turn out to be something really kind of nice. You could have um, um, the string balls suspended just in this area, so that will look really nice. Um, if you integrate, you know, for your first dance or whoever is speaking. And um, I've given ideas of how you can use a tool wrapped around the columns or just draped around the columns. And what else did I want to say? I can't remember now. Um, I think that's about it. But if I remember. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, uh, the cafeteria has, um, let's see if I can find them. I placed them on these columns. They're, they're little, um, lights. I think they're ambient lights or mood lights. They have them around the columns. And they have them on the window wall. And they have them on the gray wall. I don't believe they have them on the, the entrance wall, the yellow wall, or that wall or that wall but if you just use the ambient lights and not the lights from the ceiling I think that would help in your the effect that you wanted to create the candlelight effect so if that's possible um, that would be good and if you have I'm sure you do have the ability to plug in lights in these columns electrical outlets in these columns then you can use the the white icicle lights and that also creates a pretty effect um, in the video I mentioned about using the tool with the lights so you can also have tool I mean the lights embedded in the tool which also gives a pretty effect a soft effect so um, this is basically it. it's really kind of like a poor example but um, it did kind of kind of give an idea. I think the window would be really pretty with the bridal party sitting in front of the window. But this is just an idea for the cafeteria. As I said, these same things could be applied for the pavilion area because I do believe they're just, you know, a square, a rectangle, and a rectangle.